We learned yesterday that the area where Monica, the woman who you've met through Invisible People, who lost her legs three months ago, is being sweeped. That means the RVs are being towed in this area. Los Angeles lifted the towing ban on May 17th. These people have no place to go. Monica is literally just getting food stamps. She's getting no other support except for the USC street medicine team that are coming here and helping her. These people have no place to go. Sweeps are horrible. We don't know where Monica and Katrina are. Their RV was once there and now it's gone. You're having to move your RV. Yeah, like once uh, every two weeks, three weeks now, like just pick up and go and at the drop of a dime, like we're supposed to have a way to get everybody's RV out of here, train all of our stuff out of here and go where, you know, like where things to go, you know? Yeah. They don't offer us any uh, sort of like substitute or for, you know? Right. There's so, no alternative. They're no not helping you. No they just move you and yeah, then they tell us who we got to go and we can't come back. And otherwise, if we don't leave, they're going to impound our stuff. You know, they're yeah, going to. They yeah. yeah. How long have you been living in an RV? Uh, for like two years now. What happened? Uh, with the COVID stuff, you know, everything just uh, fell apart, you know. So it's been hard uh, to get getting back on, you know back on our feet but and then with all this it's like it's never ending yeah, it's hard to move forward you know okay. where are you going we're moving down the bridge on broadway um they had to tell us to move last minute sorry yeah. last minute move so um we're getting just these two drivers that are helping us which are gonna help us just move yeah. everybody in less minute, you know? Yeah, and you really no place to go. The no city. No place to go, which these are empty streets as it is, and you know, like, we're not taking up space or anything. We're not interfering with anybody. We're not, you know? Yeah. Just last minute, you know? The city just pushes you around. Yeah, basically, yeah, that's what they do. Yeah. And we have to move our stuff all the time, and it's, it's very stressful. And half of the time, like, there's the handicapped people, they don't have help, and, right. and you know? Are you guys offering services? What, what services are you offering? Okay. I just asked a loss of worker what services they're offering homeless people. And she offered a number for me to call. And the truth is there's not enough services and there's no housing to help people. And I've been here on this block several times in the last week and services aren't being offered. Los Angeles and many communities in America, streets are lined with RVs, many of them broken down. When a person loses their job and is facing eviction, they may have some savings and may go into a hotel for a little while. Then they jump on Craigslist and buy an RV because the next step is on the streets homelessness. The people that were living here don't have any place else to go. Their shelters are often horrible places. And to be honest, there's not enough shelter beds and shelters do not end homelessness.
Isn't it great that sweeps provide a bathroom for police officers, LASA, and sanitation, but the city of Los Angeles cannot provide bathrooms for the tens of thousands of homeless people? Homeless people don't want to live in filth either. The reason the trash builds up is there's no trash pickup. These are simple solutions the city could provide with the $70 million that they use to displace people. The city could provide trash pickup and dumpsters and porta potties or wait for it the city could work to get people out of homelessness but no they would rather displace people it, it makes no sense that cities around america are criminalizing homelessness but it's getting worse where are you gonna go I'm taking it all the way to the end, and then we'll take it. Right? And off this property. Yeah. But you, you don't have any place to go, right? Tell the truth, I ain't leaving. What? I'm going to tell you the truth, I ain't leaving. What are you ain't leaving. Leave you go, you go right here and come right back. I started to throw all the shit over that wall, and then dump it back. They kick people out of there, so now they're on the corner and once the sanitation and police leave, they'll go back and in two weeks, we'll do this over and over and over and homelessness continues to grow. Criminalization and sweeps are part of the reason homelessness continues to grow. take everything but like the tent and uh, and they're taking everything yeah tent and all but i should have known they do it in other places yeah. i just wouldn't think it's right michael says he's going into project room key the lhasa is offering him a hotel i've tried to confirm with the lhasa worker here but she wouldn't talk to me uh, project room key is a hotel program uh, there's a lot of good with Project Room Key, but also a lot of bad. Uh, people do get inside with a private shower and their own space, but there's some really funky rules. They can't go visit other people. There's a, a ridiculous curfew. Uh, some people like it, some people don't. Um, but. Michael kind of won the lottery because he's the only one out of all these people that is being offered any kind of support. And it's probably because he's disabled.
14 sanitation workers. That doesn't include the sanitation workers that are sitting in the truck and the one in the front. There's three police officers here that I've seen. There's parking enforcement at either end. There's been a few loss employees. I didn't see them engage with homeless people. Uh, I just saw them kind of monitoring. So add all this up and you as a taxpayer pay huge money for this and I get it. You want homeless people out of sight. So do I, so does most people. But all these homeless people are gonna come right back here. Criminalizations and sweeps do nothing nothing to solve homelessness. It just pushes people to another area and they come back and it pushes people to another area and they come back and you as a taxpayer in Los Angeles pay $70 million for this every year.